god of the west and genji do indeed meet dodges the drag tongue the deflect kunai damage and that's the first trade of the game that went pretty well for karchi there it did indeed so he's gonna have a li little bit more of a comfortable time here talking about some of the quests we are starting off with press the advantage for tiger skoterra should be fine and tukes the storm bolt anyway nicely done but we have the press the advantage the extra attack range and we see other than that, pretty much regular turns, except for maybe Viciousness. Okay, Viciousness for Greymane. Having four seconds on your bonus auto attack speed. And you can also... Ooh, Virtual oh, goes down to the final three auto attacks of Karchi. Well done. But yeah, the Viciousness, you can reset the uh, Inner Beast bonus attack speed with your Gilnean cocktail as well. Defensive play coming in from Singularity here, while Team Go, they do poke in a little bit, but they don't seem to be overly committed to an invade as of yet. There we go. Now moving forward with that Lucy booping Muradin away from his teammates. And they can try and focus on the heading, which they will easily get. And the great drag on to Lee Ming, who is taken out. Fantastic job there. Not easy to get that arcane wizard with the drag tongue, but he did it just right. Nets team go to double kill and they get the first 50 percent off the immortal with not even a single point of damage as a counter argument on their own very impressive here by team go they now move into the uh, uh, back to their side which is in this case the offensive position once again look at sonic the beast playing very far back here doesn't want to get himself caught out considering he doesn't have cocktail builds it's a little bit harder for him to actually poke here yeah he went for that uh, disengage three seconds of stealth Makes him hard to target fire for anyone that doesn't have a skill shot. In comes Hydra from the flank, but he takes 70% of his HP and damage from the bigger they are, Tychus. The overkill, the virtual auto attacks, they finish him off. And that's an Arthas gank gone wrong. Very nicely done by Ty, shredding with that minigun. So we see Singularity immediately pulling back and shredding as much of that immortal health as possible. You can see their race isn't even that terrible. They get through <laughs> a lot in that defense time. And as such, the shield is significantly lower than it would have been. You will not currently see them in this area. Look at that, scouted, nothing there. Assuming they wait for the sword to disappear, this will be a hidden gank. They're moving forward, looking for their opportunity. Malfurion showing to make it to believe they're there. There's the Dragon Blade as Hydra comes over. Beautiful boot sound barrier to try and delay this. Sonic the Beast gets silenced and executed by the Genji, who moves on to the next target, which is going to be Go Terror as he's already low. Down he goes. If Karsi can dodge this, which he will, the explosion will not take anyone out. And it's a two for zero here. Yeah, that was incredibly well done there by Team Singularity. You're up against a full HP Immortal with full shields. Down goes Lucio as well. How greedy to come back here with three players. And the goal entirely is to try and enable this Immortal to at least take down this, this keep. And despite the sacrifice of three members, they are unable to achieve this result as Lucio just gets destroyed by Genji there. Great job by Team Singularity. I think he teleported right before he got the mission because that is just, he just got himself killed with that teleport. Well, he, nice saw, he saw someone walking past and then just decided to teleport anyway. That was a pretty big mistake. He didn't know exactly where everyone was. Saw one member and decided, yeah, let's just make use of this holy ground for no particular reason. And he did indeed get caught. Arthas, Hydra, he knew exactly that the new teleport would not be up yet. Uh, there is no CDR yet for that holy ground. It comes at level 16 and it's done by auto attack. So great move by Hydra and the boys from Team Singularity. And in they go, trying to get more kills. Lucio gets caught, the root, and he's dead. Lucio is down. Got to the west though, snuck in from the side. Once again, finds the Genji, Sonic the Beast. No, the stacks. He's in full retreat. Stuck the by stacks. And down he goes as the stacks get eliminated. But God of the West is doing his <laughs> thing. Picks out another one. They continue the chase. Beautiful route by mouth will prevent this chase from continuing. God of the West is so far back. Who's protecting the Tychus? Who? Oh my God, God <laughs> of the West. He doesn't get the kill. That was all ambitious. But here comes Go Terra. That's probably going to get God of the West out. The route is good though. That might be the death of him. He borrows the delay. And there he goes. <laughs> a little bit of solo plays there. Could have done it on Mal with the isolation if uh, Genji wasn't there to block the next drag tongue. Nice job by yeah, Singularity Arthas stabilizing a bit. What's that? Uh, Arthas and Genji there blocking the abilities for their team member and keeping Mafiron alive. Solid team play. Yeah. So, the 
defense coming in by Team Go. Trying to hold this together, protect the Immortal. Fighting against the Immortal is going to try and mitigate the, what is basically the two v the 5v4. Go Terra will get killed off by Karsi, who still has the Dragon Blade activated. Moves into the backline, trying to get onto Tychus, who's already got the Odin back again. But it is now a three versus five, and Singularity are able to grab the Immortal. Look at this now. Team Go going with five members, God of the West covering the flank and they're pushing in with the bruiser camp and the impalers as well Good in comes the defense gray main caught out in front cannot get away on the bright side he has no stacks so that death does not matter and oh sure singularity continuing to push through i mean it really really does matter as we see virtual trying to escape fleeing along the wall of accelerado moving up to Carsey, who gets the both leaving just tyriel and zahaka the 420 is hit good dodge by ty preventing that route they pull Loranus, who is immediately cleansed. Pretty conservative oh, cleanse on a full HP Merdin who still has an Avatar. That's a 45 second cooldown by Henning and you gotta wonder whether it's worth it because there are more opportunities to uh, cleanse something away later. God of the West, very aggressive move here, making use of that movement speed. In comes the Burrow, might get stunned, gets rooted, blown up. Big mistake there by him. He cannot move out in uh, before Tyrael moves out and now his team will pay the price for it. That is going to be almost a full team wipe. Ty is far enough away that he will survive and Virtual is too fast. But like you said, God of the West, those aggressive plays that won him so many games yesterday, getting absolutely punished today by Team Singularity. Yeah, this, uh, you know, a lot of aggressive plays there by Dhaka. Yesterday, God of the West did uh, amazing on Dhaka. But this time he's getting punished pretty hard. Inner Beast has been turned on. Can he get an auto attack in? No. That means Inner Beast is gone for another 20 Ow. seconds. Grey Mane's damage will be very low defending a push like this. No Inner Beast, no Gilnane cocktail uh, build. And no stacks. Whoa, the repulsion there. Very nearly trapping everyone. So many roots on Zahaka. He's just going to borrow to keep himself safe here as Lucio eats, also eats a stun. Keep goes down. Level 21 be will be reached. And that's two level lead. Here's the Odin for the defense here. Take it's just been stun locked here. Dahaka's in the back line doing everything he can, trying to stay alive. Once again, the repulsion completely zoning everyone has gone to the west. Provides resets to Carsi, who also takes down Tyrael. Looks for Virtual. The boop to keep himself alive. Virtual will live here. But it's Ty who is the target. But while this is happening, we are seeing the core go down. And that is gonna be GG. Singularity takes game number one. Lucio kind of has to stay within melee range if he wants to keep Kerrigan alive. So Blaze is going to have a wonderful time if he does go Combustion. And if not, Bunker for armor, uh, armor Micro and to protect heroes against potentially Kerrigan. Or just to delay while they're in an Entomb if that's what happens. It can work really well. And also there is a build for Blaze where he can get damage reduction. Which Kerrigan's going to be right next to you the entire time. So you could get maximum value out of that. The shrine is incredibly important for Team Go as they are very poor at killing punishers that are attacking them. And again, mostly melee composition, cooldown, not a lot of single target damage. So this needs to be won by Team Go. Whereas if Team Singularity can get it, we could see a three level lead victory in uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Blaze trying to charge onto Ty, but he's able to dodge it. Got to the west, being forced to roll out as Blaze is pulled in. He did not go for that meltdown, instead going for that adhesive petroleum to add more crowd control here. Skeletons uh, heavily in favor of Team Singularity. It looks like they might win this shrine. They're just regrouping a little bit uh, with 30 against 25. It looks like they might get it. XP very even, but Team Go is running out of sustain and they're giving it up. And this is a big problem for them and a large victory for Team Singularity. In comes the Punisher. Yeah, they're able to move back very nicely, just in time for the next objective as well. Still 50 seconds before Murdy, but if they lose a member here, this will be disastrous. Great sound barrier to turn it round. And here comes the Maelstrom and the Horrify. Nicely comboed abilities, but even Kerrigan can't survive that tire. Goterra tanking through though. Loran has killed off God of the West. And even though they moved in with one less heroic, we still see Singularity able to destroy them. And I would say that Virtual is a one-trick Lucio, but I've seen him play great on, on uh, Karazim as well, so it's not quite like that. Not sure Ice Block is back yet, but Twilight Dream is there. Kerrigan gets silenced with full HP, so it's not a threat against her, but it prevented yeah. the follow-up combo. Blaze now getting comboed. It's Leoric who goes down. Nice job, Singularity. Karsi pushing forwards. Hydra cannot catch up far enough. Sonic Beast takes a lot of damage. Has Karsi been on Mordley Kaju here? No, he dives out of the Kerrigan combo onto Sonic Beast. The combustion 
doesn't get too much value through the sanctification here. Uh, but Ty is out of mana here. He's just microing back. The sound barrier is used. Gul'dan has found himself very isolated. Goterra has managed to retreat, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like Lucio or Leoric, or especially Gul'dan, are going to be as lucky. Very nice fight there by Team Singularity, controlling the chaos very well. Up in 20 seconds, they need to hold the line for there, which is why God of the West is currently being the front line, and Tomb could be used to block an entry path here, but he, right now, he's just blocking Blaze, giving his team a chance to escape. Here comes the combustion, Sound Barrier immediately blocks all of it, but we, you can see the Maelstrom from Kerrigan might not be enough, because she wasn't caught in the Sound Barrier, she goes down, Blaze is causing havoc in the back line here. <laughs> Hydra is such a pest there, moving to cut everyone off there with a four-man combustion. Damage blocked by Virtual to be sure, but that's still a 60% slow for several seconds. And the disruption he did was just fantastic. Kerrigan caught outside the sound barrier. She got blown up by the rip tire. That's a victory there for Team Singularity. Very well done. This is probably so far in the games I have, this is definitely the most convincing Blaze I have cast so far. I've seen some good Blaze, but this is looking really good. The amount of pressure he is putting on. So long as their top lane isn't getting pushed in by catapults, that is. Oh no, <laughs> which it will be happening soon. Especially with that Fallen Shaman camp, which will hold the lanes back. Remember, the Fallen Shaman can't kill a core because it will, it does not outrange it. Go to the west. Once again, getting focused. This time he is in a good position, though. But once again, Hydra in the back line, keeping Sonic Cleveland from dropping any damage. Over. This time, the sanctification is on Kerrigan, keeping her alive. But with no Gul'dan, do they even have enough damage as he was killed off in the back line by Karsi? There's the tire, full four-man tire there. As Ty gets bombed by Junkrat, shredding through the remaining members. Looking for Tyrrell and looking for Lucio, but can they even catch Lucio? <laughs> no one nope. can catch Lucio for the most part, but... <laughs> Let's take a look if they can actually finish the game here. Uh, Gul'dan, get that vulnerability. Nice toss there. <laughs> That's uh -oh, Kerrigan. Uh -oh. Can't get to her though. She managed to find herself in a good position and will wrap back around. We could immediately see Singularity try to make the play before Kerrigan can arrive back. But here she is. There's the combustion. Gets it on Greyman. Greyman immediately cleansed out. The tire causes a huge amount of disruption. Sanctification only really getting Lucio and Tyrael here. The fear is good on Hydra. Try to focus him down, but they've already managed to lose the Gul'dan again. And this is right before level 20. What an amazing attack timing there by Team Singularity. Really turning on the heat exactly when they need to. Right before level 20s come in. It was crucial. It worked. And now they can definitely go for the core. Greyman is still there. That's going to be a 2-0 for Team Singularity. Fantastically played. Very well played indeed. Virtual once again. The only person left defending the core. He can't do it. And that is GG. And... Singularity will be moving on to the final.